coming for the game. Yeah, I said I'm coming for the game this year. Run what? I'm coming for the game this year. Run what? I said I'm coming. What's happening, people? Gavs from Gavs Reptiles. Some of you may have noticed that I've renamed from Gavs Reptiles to Romans Reptiles in memory of my son. So we've got a new logo, everything ready to go. It's still in progress. Got a nice girl that um, called Mel. Um, I'll put her details in the in the comments and stuff below as well because she's amazing if you do need any legos design stickers t-shirts that type of stuff she is going to be the girl for you so today's video we're going to be talking about like handling your ball python um and along the way what we'll do is we'll just have a little look at like the different behaviors or modes that the snake can be in yeah because you've got a few different modes that they're going to be in one to be looking out for straight away um, if you're going to go in and grab your ball python is it in that feeding mode is it alert is it ready to sort of whoosh, get your hand as soon as you put it in there because it's just gonna all it all the snakes gonna see is just heat and a nice sort of shape thing that's just gonna whoosh, bang straight on you so you want to be watching out for that and obviously if the snakes asleep and stuff you try want to try not to startle it um, let's have a look anyway let's see I haven't seen these snakes in the past few hours it's coming up to that time where they are going to be a bit more awake maybe looking for some food so this will probably be a good time for me to show you that sort of feeding response um, and ideally what you're going to want to look to do um, if you are say a beginner get yourself some hooks hooks are good um, I've got some big some big adults so if they did get here it isn't going to be pleasant but um, I actually learnt this this technique, um, getting a short hook and a longer hook. Obviously, I've, I know, knew about snake hooks and I was using them, but getting a smaller hook, I basically learnt that from Gavin at Balls to You. And if you don't follow him, you definitely should be following him because um, he's amazing. He's definitely always been an inspiration for me. But um, I basically stole that off him, so I want to kind of further educate people. Use a smaller hook to open up your tubs, so that way your hands aren't near it. Um, they're not necessarily associating or seeing the sort of the heat from your hand straight away yeah so keep this brief anyway I'm not sure how I'm gonna show you but I guess what I will do um, is just showing you it's just show you opening up the tub and let's see what kind of mode um, the snakes in okay so this is my het gen stripe it's probably a bit of a mess in there because yes yeah, she's just shed out so we can get that out of there. But see right now, she seems to be pretty chill. She doesn't seem to be looking to strike out or to to kick to get at me. I definitely can go in there and get the shit out in a minute. I'm gonna clean this out, the dual clean out this week. Um, but she's been breeding, so I've left I've left the poo and stuff in there. It sounds a bit crazy, but it helps with the breeding. We'll go all, along with that um, in another video. But realistically, you want to just kind of, when you're getting your ball python out, if they're not in that sort of response, just let them know that you're there and just pick him up. And what I'm going to do is just set this camera back down. So when you're handling your ball python, support. Make sure they feel safe. Ideally, because the bottom bottom half, this is a female by the way, um, she's pretty big, she probably weighs about 2,000 2, or so grams, I need, to, I need to weigh her up, but I know she's going to be building eggs, but you want to be supporting the body of the snake. And realistically from there, definitely worth just relaxing and just kind of letting them do what they feel that they want to do, if that makes sense. I know the lighting in there isn't the best to see what's going on. That's because of these lights in there. But realistically, this is what you're going to kind of expect. Now, if they want to climb over you, let them climb over you. Ideally, what I quite like to do is just sort of bring them in a little bit closer to me so they don't feel like they're going to fall. But whilst they are um, having an explore, shall we say, it's worth just having a look at their scales, having a look at the cloaca, the tail, 
just the general condition of the snake whilst you've got them out. But that's generally where you want to be. There's not much else going to happen. If they want to climb, they'll climb. Just support them. So you'll probably have a little sniff. I'm going to have a little look. The only other thing I've got in here is all my rats that are behind me. That'll be in another video. We'll go through how to look after or breed your own rats. But generally, this is this is a nice chilled, happy bull pipe. And always check their tongue. Check, make sure the tongue's nice and nice and pink and flickering. But that's a nice adult bull python, okay? Now, let's see if we can get a snake that's in a slightly different mode. So here down here, got a couple of, well they're not hatchlings anymore, but they were. Do you see that? That snake there is definitely in some sort of feeder mode. I don't know if I'm filming this correct. That snake is definitely in a feeder mode. You can see it's positioning. It's looking to see, is that food? What is that? It's a shame we don't have a better light. But generally, I mean, for a beginner, what you want to do is ideally just get your hook in there, just, just tap them a little bit, and you can just bring it. You can bring them on out. Let's have a look at this beauty. This is, this is a straight exantic, um, twenty twenty. This is, you can see the difference in the feeding mode there. But with the hatchling, they're generally a bit more feisty, a little bit more crazy. The lighting in here is terrible. I will sort it out. But again, all about sort of supporting them. But one of the main things that I want to show you is if they are in that mode where they're looking like they're ready to pounce, that's probably because they probably are ready to pounce. If they look a bit tense and they're looking up at you, trying to work out whether you're food, they probably are. Um, or they're in a bit of a def defensive position or defensive mode, shall we say. It's all about knowing your snakes as well. I do happen to know that this snake isn't, isn't, very, isn't very snappy. He's just very, very food motivated. So he generally doesn't take strikes at me. There's a difference between getting bit from a snake in a feeding mode and one of a defensive bite. A defensive bite is just A feeding bite is when they're going to latch on and wrap around you um, and it can be quite difficult to let them go, for them to let go. So the best thing to do really is, is when you open up the tub, just assess what kind of mode they're in. If they're literally dead still, you're never going to know if your snake's sleeping yeah? they don't They don't have eyelids, so it's going to be difficult to actually know. But if they look nice and chilled and stuff, just let them know that you're in there. Come from behind the snake, ideally just soft, just mess with them a little bit to get them out of that feeding mode. Because then they'll go into some sort of like a flight mode or a bit of an exploration mode, shall we call it. Get them out of the feeding mode. Ideally, that's what you want to be doing. So that's the difference between an adult ball python and obviously a really young hatchling. He is feeding well. He's going to be a beast. Um, for my breeding team, I've always wanted to work from Exantic. This is a VPI from the VPI line. Got this from uh, Simon Ling at Ridgeway Exotics, and I can't recommend those guys enough. They really are good. Um, which I've got a bag that he came in there. So this is one of his, and everything I get from there is always top quality. To be fair, but um, that's the difference there. If you've got any questions about the different modes the snake in or maybe your snake's a little bit defensive a lot of the time it takes time sometimes with snakes they've all got their own personalities it takes a little bit of time just be persistent if it's a bit defensive maybe start handling it once twice a week just go in there just give it time let it see that you're in there touch it with a hook if it's if it's really looking at you like it's going to come at you just touch it, just calm it down a little bit so it's like, oh, it snaps them out of that mode. And then just gently pick them up and just spend time with them. That's all you can really do is spend a bit of time with them. 
um, and they they will come round. I do. I, I have had snakes um, that generally don't like being touched as others as much as some of the others. Some of them really really like to be handled. Yeah, sorry about that. The video got cut short for my timer. Just cooking up the dog and nice fresh chicken. So the timer went off. The video went off. Um, and I was in the middle of saying something. Um, in terms of handling this snake, like I said, they've got different personalities. They're going to kind of grow at different times. Be patient. Be confident as well. Um, if you can, if you can see the snake once looks like it wants to strike, strike at you, just be aware. Use what I said. Use the hook. Just tap, just tap them gently, or just touch them with it. And normally they just. Poof, they'll come out of that mode. Um, and then they'll be in that sort of, sort of flighty kind of mode, if that makes sense. If the snake is still kind of being a bit more persistent, just takes a little bit of time. Like I said, uh, I said earlier in the video, handle them maybe once or twice a week. I meant to say, um, increase the handling to say two to three times a week. Um, you definitely want to be sort of interacting with them as much as you can, but not too much as to stress them out really, but, um, cause you're going to be in there cleaning the tub and stuff like that. So, it's definitely worth spending the time with them um, and getting to know your snakes. All, uh, a lot of my, a lot of my, my ball pythons, by the way, are so chill. Literally, they're so so chill. They're so calm because I'm always in there, nice and calm. I handle them nice and gentle. I don't stress them out. Um, I've got a good breeding team, um, and I've got some, I've got some cool things on the way. But that will come in later videos. But Thank you for watching guys. Please obviously smash the like button. It means the absolute world to me. Subscribe if you're feeling happy. That will also make my year. Um, happy New Year to everybody by the way. See you later to what, 2020? And welcome to tier five. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So hopefully this year's gonna be a bit better for everybody. Um, things can start getting back to normality because that was a crazy year. I'm glad to see it. Uh, to see the back of it if I'm honest. But um, thank you again guys. Please like and subscribe and hit me with any questions that you like, any comments. Would love to read them all. Love to answer your questions. Um, and follow my Instagram. It's Roman Romans underscore reptiles. And I'll see you in the next video, people. Peace out.